Hey guys, I hope that everybody is having an absolutely wonderful day. Welcome back. But if you are new here, welcome. My name is Chewy, and uh, I like to play strategy. Today, we are going to be playing another EU4 campaign here. Uh, if you guys like EU4, I recommend you subscribe to the channel, ding the bell, and it'll send you a notification every time we upload a new video, which is important, because if you like an EU4, you're going to like a lot of what we got coming up here, especially in the coming uh, weeks and months, and uh, lots of content to look forward to. Also, if you guys are excited, make sure you show your support. Leave a like, because leaving a like is the most helpful thing to a YouTuber. Uh, also, leave a comment down below. Have you guys ever played Antebellum? Because that's what we're playing today. Antebellum is an awesome alternate history mod that is Eurocentric currently, and it is going to uh, basically show you what the world would look like in 1444 if a, a few major historical events had happened. Uh, the main one being that uh, they had failed, the Christians had failed the crusade for uh, Anatolia. So the Muslims have settled in Anatolia and are still existing there, you know, a hundred and whatever, 200 years after the original crusade for it, as well as the crusades against the Sicilians to uh, kick the Sultanate of Sicily out. And uh, so now we have Shia Sicily just to the south of uh, Pope Man. So in Antebellum, he has received a very major facelift and uh, there is a lot of really interesting stuff that we can look forward to. So uh, there are definitely going to be some interesting stuff that we are going to be checking out today. So there's a lot of interesting stuff that has been added in Antebellum that is focused on the Papal States. Uh, Parmalion asked me to, limit, to list off a couple of them to you. Uh, one of them being you can spawn a center of counter-reformation, which will convert Protestant provinces back to Catholic. So that's really interesting. And I kind of like the idea. Um, we'll see how that shows, uh, how, how it manifests in this campaign. Uh, also, we can release the Latin Empire as a vassal if we take Constantinople. So uh, a lot of people may not be familiar with the Latin Empire, which was the Catholic Byzantium, essentially. Uh, kind of a cool uh, offshoot um, of history. Uh, also, there's a special conquest mission that uh, do not require me to directly take and own provinces if they are owned by a Catholic country. So uh, converting people might be in our best interest rather than actually taking the clay ourselves. Uh, as for the mission tree, let's take a look at a few of the things just to start off. Uh, owning the local area, consolidating our vassals will give us diplo power and autonomy change, leading us down to this one here. Um... um, um uh, Allied to three Catholics, which will give us a bunch of permanent claims in Northern Italy and Southern Italy for that matter. That's good. Uh, deal with the Mad Duke, which is to conquest Capua. We can do that easy enough. Rebuild the treasury, have lots of monies, which will give us papal tithe income increase. Very good. Manpower level at least 100, which will give us land maintenance. And then what is this? Own a province. Okay, so we have to either be friendly with Switzerland or own provinces in Switzerland. I think being friendly with Switzerland is much more on the table. The Vatican Library, lots of money and embrace the Renaissance and we will lose some money and get an event, the Vatican Library. St. Peter's Basilica, which will uh, roam and have an architect and a planner. Okay, I think those are special advisors. Expand the church estate. Okay, is Defender of the Faith. So Defender of the Faith will give us morale of armies and missionary strength for heretics for 15 years. Very good. Uh, Liberate the South gives us morale of armies. Claim on Eastern Sicily. Very good. Uh-huh. Big Navy will give us galley combat ability and a permanent claim on Western Mediterranean Islands. Very good. Uh, this is to conquer a couple of provinces in Northern Italy or Central Italy, I guess you could call it. More permanent claims up in uh, Lombardy in that area. Very good. The Eternal City. 40 dev and uh, finish the previous mission. 50 prosperity in our entire state. Very good. Uh, construction and dev cost in our capital state for the rest of the game. Very good. Universities. Very cool. So if we come down here, counter the Reformation, you can see one of the following must be true. People state is Okay, so pick the stance on the Council of Trent. Uh, and we have the modifier of the Counter-Reformation. Gives us missionary maintenance cost, which is nice. The Kingdom of Ruthenia, huh? Religion in Glacial Vlahinia is Catholic. Okay. Mis missionary maintenance cost 10. Avenge Valencia, huh? Province of Valencia owned by a Catholic country. So these are the ones that don't necessarily mean us, but that's good. It gives us army tradition, war score cost versus other religions, 15% for 25 years. That's not bad at all. And uh, until the end of the game, we get army tradition decay. Battle Pope incoming. 
Okay. Convert these guys up here. Invade Vendia. Which will give us uh, general uh, army tradition from battles, devotion, and miltech cost for 15 years. Very good. Baltic Crusade. Uh, more of the same. Army tradition and some mill points. Core creation cost for 25 years. Not bad. Uh, okay. And this one will... Every owned province is ca in Iberia is owned by a Catholic nation. Which will give us missionary strength for 20 years. Reform, desire for Catholicism, and prestige decay for the rest of the game. Come down here. Win the League War. Manpower recovery speed for 30 years. So a lot of these are just modifiers. Crush the Reformation, which will give us lots of mana. Stab cost for the rest of the game and yearly devotion. That stab cost is pretty impressive as well. If we rival the Phoenix, we have an army larger than 50,000. And or Byzantium does not exist. We get some permanent claims over here in uh, Italy or in, in Greece. The second Rome... Thrace. Became Greek as an accepted culture. To claim the Eastern Patriarchates and mend of the schism. Last but not least, devotion and prestige of at least 100. Uh, all provinces in the this area over here is owned by us. Also, by the way, check out my new mod. I made this mod, Pink Nizrids. <laughs> uh, every Orthodox country receives a Papacy Heals the Schism event. Papal State gains a permanent claim on every Orthodox province in the world and all power cost 5%. So, lots of interesting stuff going on here. If you guys are interested in any of the mods that I'm running, make sure you check them out. They're all gonna be linked in the description below the video. First and foremost, let's check out this one here. Usually I'd be using Artemis UI, but uh, it conflicts with a couple of things in Antebellum. So we're running it with, um, uh, this is the better Estates UI mod. Um, I will take the Monopoly on paper right off the rip and a trade and free enterprise. That's fine with me. Uh, leave one open for indebted to the burgers if we were to desire that. Oh, did I actually go into it? Oh, I clicked the wrong one. I meant to do this one, patronage of the arts. So I guess we're indebted to the burgers. That was an accident, but no big deal. Uh, strong duchies is a really good one. Always take that if you can. Uh, let's go with... So we have a lot of crown lands. This is actually really good for us. So we can... Write a council, and then we can go Primacy of the Noble, which gives up some crown land at the cost of some mana monthly. Church Sanctuaries. Uh, okay, sounds good. Expansion at Zealotry. Okay, we'll consider that one later on. Oversight of the Clergy. And then Religious State is a good one as well. We actually can just stay right here, and we're sitting right around right where we want to be, so that's really good. I will rival Sicily, of course. A couple of these guys don't really make a whole lot of sense. Like, Bulgaria would not make sense. Bulgaria is strong. Byzantium, maybe. Lower Burgundy, I guess. I don't know. None of these really make a lot of sense to me, but this is okay. Let's get our army built up to four. So let me here. Turn our army maintenance down. Get our ships out protecting trade in Genoa. Have them head home at war. Um... I think we repay all those loans because there's literally no reason to have them. That was an accident. We have some money, so let's get this guy here. So, Antebellum adds a few more generals, which is cool. Cap combat ability is nice. Siege ability is really good. I'll go with that one. Trade efficiency is really good. And uh, institution spread, national unrest. We don't... I guess we'll go with production efficiency for now. And our Pope is really bad, so hopefully he dies pretty quick. That would be annoying. As far as government reforms, we are the papacy. We are... is the Pope. <laughs> uh, we have the tolerance of the true faith, plus one, and prestige per development for missionary is 0.33, and then clergy influence. Very good. Okay, so we have our vassals down here. Uh, we have three vassals, so I assume it is in our best interest to get these guys improved with ASAP so we can integrate them when the time comes. And I'll have these guys all set to be supportive. We have five galleys. Not bad. We are the Pope Man. So we can select a golden bowl. Hmm. I suppose the dev cost is good. Of my own money to appoint your loyalist as cardinals. 
So these guys, hmm. Right now I'm at 100%. So yes, we should probably consider how we want to uh, proceed here as far as alliances go. Croatia might be good. Are they Catholic? They are. Okay, a bunch of these people are kind of nobodies. Savoy I'll take. I don't want Luca or Ferrara because I would like to integrate them sooner or later. As you can see, there is no von Habsburgs. So Frankia is a Carolingian. They are um, indeed descendants of Charlemagne and they are the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. So you can see the empire looks quite different. There is no empire up here, but instead France and Southern France is in the empire. Uh, so that's cool. As far as who else we would like to ally, let's take a look here. Use this map mode. Stereo would be a good choice. They're not rivaled. Yep. Area. Sounds good. I think that actually will allow us to do one of our missions, right? To ally three Catholics or whatever. That's right here. So I need to get these guys done here. So I have to integrate those two guys immediately. Why did my... Oh, fort maintenance. We have two forts. So let's turn those guys down off. Mothball them. And yeah, we're still losing a lot of money, actually. Hmm... Interesting. I'm curious why. Also, I'm pretty sure I have bigger production UI. The Emperor has revoked the Bohemian Electorate. Envoy from the Imperial Court has arrived, informing our King the Emperor has decided to place the King of Bohemia under an Imperial ban, revoking our Electorate and placing our country into even greater political isolation. <sighs> Bohemia is no longer an, em an Elector because they are Hussites. Oh my goodness. They also have an elective monarchy. Okay. Interesting. Uh, so I'm really not sure what happened to my financial situation. Things went downhill pretty quickly there. I can't really afford these advisors anymore. Get rid of this guy. I suppose we focus mill early on. Seems appropriate. If we lose a little bit of money, it's not the end of the world. Oh, are we getting raided by Sicily? We are, you bastards. Okay, let's turn that fort on. And this fort on. To handle that. It's going to cost me money, but... I want to get rid of the devastation ASAP. We do have St. Peter's Basilica here. I don't actually know if Antebellum added any more. Uh, I know there was one up here, Ambros Castle. The Kingdom of Rus, Your Excellency, we receive word from the East. The Prince of Glissivalhinia has turned from to the glory of God and desires to come into the fold and become children of God. It surely would be a great opportunity. It would require some initial help and work from our side before we can call them true Catholics. Really? So Glissivalhinia... Allowed to convert to Catholic, enabling you to complete the Kingdom of Ruthenia. Well, of course. We must mend the schism. Now, the question... Oh, they have a Rorikovich as well. How many Rorikoviches are there over there? There's a few of them. There's a bunch of them over here. Jeez, oh, Pete. Interesting. What a prolific family, huh? So, let's see here. It'd be cool if they were to flip. Now I'm just waiting for this devastation to go down. That way I can uh, save some more money because we're going to end up taking loans. Uh, initially, integrating all of our vassals is going to be my primary goal. Let's uh, speed five for a moment. Sicily is claiming my land. Did they do it? They did it. They did it. Awesome. So, um, missionary maintenance and we gain 10 devotion. Sure, man. Eastern Catholicism. Any Catholic country in the Ruthenia region owns 20 provinces. Okay. I'll have to consider how that's going to happen, but... You guys right allied to the Magyars in Bulgaria. Okay. So let's see what's going on over here. Obviously, we need to keep an eye on um, what's going on with these guys and who they're at war with. How's the devastation here? So one, two more months over here. The Pope bankers. Sure. I don't care about the Curia treasury. It really doesn't mean anything to me, if I'm being honest. Come on now. One more month. 
There we go. Not devastated. All right. Less money coming out now, which is good. Man, am I really losing that much money? Hmm. Yeah. We definitely need more trade. I like to lower Burgundy. I reckon we could probably get a claim over here. Is, is he in the HRE? He is. So let's see here. If we wanted to join the HRE, how hard would it be for us? 140 with Frankia. I reckon we can do that, especially since he's a Catholic, because we can appoint a Cardinal, which will make him love me, I'm pretty sure. Don't know exactly how much it is. All right, let's see here. Let's try this. Appoint a Cardinal. Increasing their opinion of us by 50, but I can use the Curia Treasury, which obviously I'll do that. And now I just need to improve relations with him a little bit more. Sure. Let's uh, continue improving with our vassals. So we can integrate them. Ideally, we integrate like... Well, see, I want to keep strong duchies, but I'm probably going to integrate both of them at the same time. Or all three of them at the same time, rather. This is annoying, man. I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't want to take out any loans if I don't have to. The mana is super useful, but uh, hi hopefully our Pope dies and we can get a better Pope. That's uh, That would be ideal. So we have the Prestige, so we might as well like scornfully insult somebody as well over here. So, Savoy is being attacked by Lower Burgundy. Really? Send a scornful insult to these guys. You suck, and I hate you. Also in the mod pack. Um, <laughs> I guess I join. I hope Sienna doesn't join. That's kind of... I really hope Sienna doesn't join. So let's get some spy network built up here. And can I get like... Is Sienna steering from over here? They are, yes. Yeah. So basically it's always worth doing that if you can. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore these guys. I don't care. Yeah, I'm losing a ton of money here. It's annoying. I'm going to turn the fort on Rome off. If they really want to come down here, they can. But they'll get stack wiped. Join the HRE. So we are now a member of the HRE. The Pope is. <laughs> Very good. Uh, Santa's a free city. I just missed that. Hmm. Well, that's not going to work then. Could attack these guys. They are not in the HRE. Correct? Venice is not. Croatia would join. This seems like a decent gig. Genoa would join. Mantua would join. The Knights would join. So what is this? I wonder if I just don't call Croatia in, and then I do. Well, let's do it. Let's, um... Let's recall you. Let's attack. And since they've dishonored their call, Mantua did. They should break their alliance. They did. Um, let me see here. Anyways, let's call them in now on promise of territory. And let's get a general in there. You are not very good, but you will do. So Mantua shouldn't have joined. Very good. They have a lot of galleys, so we need to be mindful of that. I will recruit an admiral. Hopefully get out here and wipe out a couple of uh, the enemy fleets ASAP. Uh, this is a different war. Not my war. Very good. So, Venice has 15 galleys sitting over there, dude. I'm losing some ships, so I'm going to pull out. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I lost one ship. Genoa lost one ship. Let's just get Genoa out of the war ASAP. Nice. A 425 is much better. And we remain the uh, the uh, dude, the Pope, the Papal Controller. Um, I suppose we can go with this one. 
that will allow us to get a quicker institution once the time comes these guys are beelining it over their entire army onto um onto his land which is like totally fine with me honestly it's kind of preferred so it looks like i didn't oh man i'll take the diplomana these guys are attacking me a 9 to 15 doesn't seem smart yeah definitely not smart i don't know what that was about these guys are repaired let's bump out this two stack not not quite repaired enough so what we're gonna do there you go this is cheesy we're gonna get the repair tick oh my gosh i'm still losing ships here wow i'm losing a lot of ships what they must be a little more damaged than i thought no they're all like 90s man nah, anyways that's unfortunate well, it looks like we're going to definitely need to go indebted to the burgers. So let's do that. Don't be afraid to click this button. It's fine. It's literally like the the, the money that you get from it is the value is, is incredible. Get a couple of galleys queued up. Obviously, they're not going to be super useful for this war, but for future wars, they will be. Uh-huh. Turn a blind eye for nobility loyalty. Sure. I don't care. I don't care about the base tax a whole lot. Sadly, these guys are definitely going to lose that siege like ASAP. And I have not progressed over here despite being on the siege for 120 days. Seems appropriate. Get over here. See if we can. Oh my gosh, man. They're not losing any ships either. Yeah. And I'm not making any progress. They already took Zagreb. Yeah, Croatia will probably peace out pretty quickly in this war. Let's um, let's actually get that guy back, the siege ability guy. How am I losing so much money, dude? It's actually broken. Army maintenance is seven ducats? No, okay. Wonder why it says that though. The knight's landing some men over here, huh? I'll be damned. They don't have any galleys. That's an, a purely transport fleet. So there we go. My siege ability is... It's not... We're still not progressing. Oh, man. Yeah, this is... This is rough. I was hoping this was going to be a decent opening war, but... Um, nice. They won Trevisio, which is good. Urbino did. Very good. We have the war goal. Uh, after Croatia pieces out, it'll be fine. And they're blockading me with 32 ships. So there's literally nothing I can do about that. Let's... Okay. Let us detach a blockade here. Okay. My uh, vassals are handling that, so that's good. We got a disease outbreak, which I'm pretty sure is like the second or third one we've gotten. They are now landing men again. Ay ay ay. So let's see here. Who's got the best defensiveness between me? I got 12, 10, 10, 10. So I don't want to pay for it. So I'll just give it to one of my vassals. That's fine. This is actually bogus though. It's been a year and I'm still in the minus 35 because it's a minus, it's a level three hill fort. This is fine. Apparently there's a fort down here. Level 3 fort. Yeah. Knights won't even be able to siege anything. Apparently Sienna's in this war. Sienna joined this war. That's hilarious. So, yeah. Croatia's going to peace out. There's not really much I can do about it because, you know, they are being occupied. So, we'll see how it goes. Hey. Finally, a stroke of good luck. I'll take it. But uh, yes, if you guys have played Antebellum before, leave a comment down below. Let me know how you feel about it. How uh, how you have enjoyed this. Because I used to play a lot of it back uh, in the previous patch of the game. And uh, I am personally a big fan. So if you guys are as well, I'd like to know who you played as and how you've enjoyed it. And any and all of that fun stuff is appreciated. Uh, so that is Genoa. I can just piece Genoa out. Um, matter of fact, I will pillage this capital because screw them. Give me all your money. 
Give me Luca trade power and all your money. That's fine. The money is useful. Basically, it pays off any of our debt. Uh, and now we have negative four, but um, it's actually way better than that because as soon as he pieces out, these guys will be much better off. So what we do is we come over here and uh, we look for defensive fights. That's uh, that's kind of the gist of it. So we can take Miltech now. Very good. Does he have it? He does not. Oh, that's really good for us. Let's get these guys up here. So I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about Scorched Earth tactics. It's really good. Scorched Earth basically allows you to force your enemy to um, walk in to bad fights. And that's what we're looking to do here. Tuscany will be pillaged um, by Savoy. Sienna will pay Savoy war reps. And I get six ducats. Thank you. Very good. These guys are over here sieging down Saluza, which is a mountain fort, I believe. So hopefully they can get in there. My vassal should help him out. Now I'm hopeful that they'll just peace out. They did. Um, we'll be pillaged by Venice. Uh, revoke cores. And that's it. They're still my ally, which is good for me. All right, very good. So now you can see the war score is in our favor. And uh, as you can see now, they will come over here and they will likely take a river crossing into this. The Renaissance is here and it spawned where? In Constantinople. I know that might sound interesting, uh, but it does happen in this pack. It does happen. So very good. Um, let's make sure that I am improving relations with all my vassals. Get them all maxed out at 200. Very important. Uh, base tax on Spock relations. I'll just go with, um, the base tax and Spoleto. It's fine with me. Let's actually set this guy to local trade as well. It will help us make a little bit more money, especially because our economy is ailing. So I am hopeful that these guys will eventually come over here and try to fight me, um, in the hills in Fruili. But we'll see. Friuli? Friuli? I don't know how do you guys say that. But uh, yeah, so we'll just sit on it because he's getting war exhaustion and we're not. Except for blockading, we are from that, but that's okay. Army tradition for money? Yes, please. Army tradition gives you a lot of good things. Morale, better generals, lots of interesting things. Naxos is uh, landing men, which is annoying. But uh, I don't really care. I'm mostly just sitting on this. Obviously, I want Ravina since I have a core on it. Um, as far as anything else we can do, uh, maybe some of the Mantu and trade power would be good. We'll see. It's going to really depend on how things go with um, with them. Dude, they have so many ships over here. That is nuts look at this nine trade ships three galleys and 12 plus four light ships like what am i gonna do about that <laughs> tell me one thing i can do about that you know that's crazy so yeah we just sit here and wait because apparently these guys don't want to fight i guess i can try to bait them into a fight in the woods over here as well if they are really that gung-ho about it or if they're going to come over here to freely. I'm hoping to see them coming up here. I am. Oh, whoa. They like teleported over there. So they'll be there on the third and I will be there before that. So take a look at this. They'll be there on the third. I can be there before that. They're locked in. So they're taking a river crossing. No, they have no maneuver. They have a 01 general and I have an 021. So I have superior maneuver. The simple terrain map mode shows that there's a river here into the hills. They're going to be taking a minus two. This is going to go very good for us, especially because we have shock damage received. I might even wipe him. I'll take the prestige. Helps with your morale. Oh, yeah. That's some losses right there. That's some losses right there. They're probably heading down to Spoleto. Spol Spolato. So, see if we can tra track him down. Ah, uh, the AI always moves faster than you. Oh, they're still fleeing. Oh, they're heading all the way down here to Durazo. So let's um, do this here. 
a little bit of extra war exhaustion for them. I am gaining some from being blockaded. Oh, yikes. All right, well. Let's see if we can get back up there and do a little more of the same. Scorched Earth, it's so good. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we can take defensive fights, we want to. All right, heading over here to Silovich or however that's pro pronounced. There we go. They'll be there on the 4th, and I will be there before that. So I'll come over here. They changed their mind. That's fine. They're entitled to that. I bet they're going to do something annoying and ignore this 4th zone of control and walk right here into there. Where are they at, huh? Where's Venice? Where are you at, Venice? Oh, yikes. I could take that province there. Would allow me to get more claims up here. I should probably do that, huh? Let's get some claims up here. Getting a couple of good fights uh, or good wars early on is going to be really important for us. These guys are wasting uh, men down here. Where did you come from? Where? How did you get here? Like, give me a break, Venice. Did they really just like sneak through the fort, the fog of war and get down there? So lame. Yeah, they're just like teleporting around. They're so fast, too. They're so fast. Look at them. Zero maneuver, by the way. Farmlands. I won't take a river crossing because I have superior maneuver, so it's a zero. There we go. Stack wiped him. That's what you get, you penis. Get bent, mate. So. I can't take Treviso. I could take Treviso. So the question is, is would I rather have money? Or the fort? I think I would rather have money. So I'll wait a couple more months. Oh, there we go. Let their interest in peace tick up, and there you go. So there we go. We get to just gain two provinces. Pay off all of our loans. Turn our army maintenance dice and low, so we're not paying on dealing with attrition here. The, uh, let the forts tick down that, uh, war, that stuff there. And, uh, we just gotta let our war exhaustion tick up for a bit. Switch this guy back over there. Put these guys over here. Give us a little bit of extra oomph on our spy network construction costs so we can get, uh, claims on these guys. The end of the Andalusian Civil War. You guys want to check that out? Check out, uh, Antebellum. Let's, uh, consolidate that development. This is also consolidated. This is a free state since it uh, was already a cord province of ours. And there we go. We're now making money. These guys are sieging down Perugia for reasons. I don't want anything to do with this war. So I'm just ignoring it. I'll take the Diplomana. And I was attacked because I was I didn't have my army maintenance turned on. Because I thought they were going to ignore me. So let's get on to his capital. Ay, ay, ay. Come on now. There we go. Get on to his capital so he'll peace out. They're sieging down my vassal now, which is going to piss me off. Very quickly. I'm also going to get war participation for this. So any money that they take, I'll get a cut of it, which is good. The more men you have on the fort, the better. My vassals over here helping the fight is also really helpful for me. Let's do something like this. Get you guys over here. There you go. They peaced out. I get two ducats because this game is fun and I get two favors with them. Very good. Turn army maintenance back down. I will lose the prestige. That's fine with me. And uh, my war exhaustion will now start going down, which is good. Kind of need that. Our navy is now ready to roll. I don't have any light ships because they were all sunk in that war, which is absolutely tragic. Makes me want to cry, to be honest with you. 
turn these forts off because we don't need them anymore for um, devastation purposes. And now we are making money again. So let's go with this guy here and this guy there. Tax modifier is really useful early on. How far off are we from embracing institution? Let's take a look here. Uh, where are we at here? Province war score and then N. So cool thing I learned. If you click the button here, you can actually see where it is. So that's really cool. I, d I didn't know this. Cobalt taught me that on stream. One of, one of my uh, long-term subs on, on Twitch. Speaking of that, I do stream multiple days every week over Twitch. And you're missing out on a lot of content if you're not there. So we're gaining plenty here um, because of our cardinal, I reckon, right? We don't have a cardinal. I don't have a cardinal, really? Hmm. Huh. Interesting. I did not know that. Anyways, we can get our claims. Oh, I cannot get a claim here because we got busted and we need at least 30 because they changed that. You need more if you're in the HRE. That's fine. You have a claim now on you and uh, we could attack them and call C or Siena, Parma, and Bologna. What if I got a claim on Bologna? Ferrara and Siena. So let's get a claim on him as well. We're just going to get claims on everybody. You get a claim, you get a claim, you get a claim. Everybody gets a claim. Being ahead on mill is going to be good for us because it means we won't lose any innovativeness. As well as, uh, you know, being ahead on tech is going to be good for us in general. But uh, I think that's a good place to call it for the first episode. Hope you guys are enjoying. I know I certainly am excited for the campaign. If you are, please make sure you show your support. Leave a like and subscribe. And uh, when you subscribe, ding the bell. It will send you notifications every time we upload uh, new videos, which is the best way to keep up to date. We also send out pings in the Discord, so if you want to join the Discord, you can uh, do that. There's also a cool community over there, and that's where I'm most active. So, you know, I'm a narcissist. If you want to talk to me, you can talk to me over in the Discord. As I said in the beginning, uh, we do have Patreon as well as we do have some cool merch. If you guys are interested in checking out some merch, uh, it's going to be linked all in the description below the video. Basically, if you're ever interested, oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Check the description. It's always, all the information is always going to be there. Basically 100% of the time. But um, yeah, let's uh, get rid of you. And uh, we can start the integration process of these guys very soon. I'm going to wait until the yearly, um, until we're done with these wars over here. We got a 625. That's even better than what we had before. And we're still the Pope man. Hell yeah. There we go. I'll wait until we can embrace the institution. So just let it spread a little bit. No rush. Extend the monopoly, which will give me more money, which will actually just allow me to embrace the institution. And a couple more months, I can get a claim on Bologna so we can co-belligerent them. Might call in... Hmm, I don't know how, how this works with a trade company or with um, these trade leagues. We'll see. Let's see here. So if I were to co-belligerent him, it would call in Venice. So we're not going to co-belligerent him, obviously. But also call him Frankia because he's a free city. Yikes. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'll call in Styria because why not? Uh, obviously, we need to turn up our army maintenance and let that go a month or two. Turn on our fort over here. Sienna, I think we will f we will annex him. I think we will. He's only 15 dev. He's a free city, but uh, if we're going to annex a free city, we might as well do it. To be honest with you, if we have the AE impact or the AE um, to spare, I reckon we will likely take both of them. But that's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, show your support. Leave a like if you're excited. And uh, any of the mods, any useful links you might be interested in, all going to be linked in the description below the video. This is Chewy Shoot. We are the Battle Pope, and I will catch you guys next time. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Big special thanks to my top mace supporters on Patreon. Drunk Binary, Bloodbound, Mr. McFlu, DeVos Sander, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Batman on Deck, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, Tharup, The J. Baller, Blonde Damon, Jacko, R. Harvest, Corbett, Shankopotamus, T. Jarden, A. Vickman, Glad, Natsuki, Harry, A. Murata, J. Cutchell, N. Winkler, R. J. Pilot, Solier, and many more.